So why was Peter like this in Marvel Spider-Man 2? And when I say this, I mean there's quite a few scenes that we're going to be going through in this video and we'll be talking about why did Peter turn out the way he did, I guess, in those. One of them is going to be the fridge scene, the infamous fridge scene where Pete gets hit by a fridge and then he's out for like 10 seconds and... <laughs> That set the whole like internet on fire. The next one's gonna be why did the symbiote affect Peter but not Harry? Okay, and of course the final one or one of the final ones is gonna be why didn't Peter use his spider arms to lift up the roller coaster? If you don't know, during the first part of the game, Act One, Peter struggles to save a ton of civilians, you know, on a roller coaster and he almost fails them until Harry comes in and saves them. So we're going to be talking about all of this in this video because I've been holding back on talking about this but for some weird reason there's a resurgence in this. So let's talk about it and let's try to figure out the plot holes here and try to explain it away in a way that makes sense instead of it making look Peter like making it look like Peter's weak when he's really not weak. It's just writing can be kind of weird sometimes because the pacing of this game is all over the place man and, and if we just had better pacing and more like if, if the game was just a little bit longer i feel like everything would have fallen into place let's look at this first clip here fridge over crane <laughs> let's have a look okay so they're using this bit from marvel spider-man remastered where pete gets hit by a crane and then he recovers in like four seconds and then peter gets hit by the fridge mary jane gets like dragged away and she's screaming <laughs> and then he barely recovers well, technically, they kind of counted like he would have woken up at eight seconds, but I guess they're counting when he threw the fridge off. And I could totally, you know, this is totally valid, right? Like, it's totally fair. It was very jarring to see Pete get knocked out and be out of commission for a while when it comes to this. But something that, like, really stood out to me when it first happened, uh, and, and you got to see it, like, you got to actually look really closely, so I totally understand why it might have gone over, like, some people's heads when it comes to this. But Peter gets like smacked in the head, right? Like he gets smacked in the head and put through the ringer here with the fridge. So like, watch this. So first of all, like, you know, sorry about the quality here, but this is the original like Reddit post quality. I'll try to put it up so we can see it a bit better. So you see like, it's so funny like going back and forth, but first of all, Mary Jane gets hit, knocking Pete into the fridge. Then he like smacks into it, right? Obviously that wouldn't be doing too much damage, right? But then you look here, like the fridge smacks the top of his head, okay? Then his head bounces like he's like his literal head hits the ground. So he he gets hit at least like two to three times, right? And he's like obviously he gets hit into the fridge, then the fridge smacks on top of his head, and then his head hits the ground. So you know how it would be. It would like you could be anyone. That something like that hitting the top of your head would be it would put you out for a few seconds, even if you're Spider-Man, right? Like, obviously, if you're a human, like, good luck to you. Enjoy those medical bills, you know? <laughs> Hopefully, you have medical insurance. But, you know, the fridge clearly isn't as heavy as that, you know, the roll... Like, not the roller coaster, what am I talking about? As the crane thing. But here, I feel like if he didn't wake up, he would have just hit the ground. So, I think that was just him, like, snapping back into... You know the mission because he was in the zone he was a well he wasn't expecting it but the spider sense warned him but here as well there was no spider sense right like i'm not coping or anything like that there was no spider sense above his head or anything like that he just gets smacked smacked in the head and boom he's down but you see the way he just like tosses that fridge off like it's nothing right like he just danced the entire wall you know so that is something i guess that can be explained as peter just took a big smack to his noggin, was knocked out for a few seconds, got back up. Perfectly explainable, right? Like, obviously, it was kind of weird that Mary Jane kind of jumped in. But I think she just jumped in because that's just like a reaction. And I know a lot of people hate Mary Jane in this game, but I think she's alright. Nothing, nothing to worry about here. Okay? So now let's go to the next one. Why did the symbiote affect Peter's mood, but not Harry's? And clearly, you know, this... Like, I understand people asking this question, but a lot of people, like, in the comments here of this Reddit post actually had a lot of, um, good points, and one that stands out, because, like, you know, you see Peter, like, he puts it on, and he's fighting against the, 
you know, the hunters, and he's instantly being like, oh, I'm going to beat your ass, you know, like, he's instantly putting on that kind of darker persona, but, like, there's two things here, like, Peter went through the events of, you know, Marvel Spider-Man, right, oh, clearly, and that was a hell of a game, right, like, he lost Aunt May, he went through the ringer, like, his mentor betrayed him, and terrorized him, like, everything that Doc Ock did to Peter while he was Spider-Man, like, you know, he, Peter was trying to help him, but Doc Ock did everything, all the bad things to Spider-Man while knowing he was Peter. That's why Peter was so hurt at that game, like, towards Doc Ock. He was like, damn, you really just did that to me while knowing my secret identity this whole time. Like, it's crazy. So, you know, the, the symbiote isn't inherently evil, but it just amplifies whatever the host is feeling. And for Peter... He went dark, man. He was in a terrible place. He clearly hasn't recovered. That's probably why he's having a break now, because he needs a break. He needs to kind of get his brain back together, bit away from all of that kind of process, heal, and then come back, you know, and that's perfectly valid. So here, Redder Dominator says, uh, because, like, first of all, <laughs> these names are hilarious. So Chongus the Supreme. <laughs> God, I can't believe I said that. So this comment says the symbiote was really inconsistent in this game. For Harry, it's act it acts as a simple semi-automated exosuit. For Peter, it takes him over and affects his personality, while also getting corrupted by him to the point that the moment Harry gets it back, he immediately turns into Venom. Then it turns out it was always evil and wanted to infect Earth, even though it never affected Harry in that way, besides some dreams and nightmares. As everything past the halfway mark of the game was simply an underdeveloped character plot point. Well, that's clearly wrong, because, like, um, this comment here, like, says a lot of the things that I agree with. So the symbiote boosts whatever the, the host is feeling. And if you look at Harry earlier in the game, right, like when he's got the symbiote, he's like very reckless. He's just like, he literally comes to help Peter when Peter's like telling him, hey, not to. And, and Harry's feeling alive because he was sick for the longest time. His life was in, in jeopardy. So he's just trying to live it, live it to the fullest. It's making him very like ecstatic, very energized. And the symbiote was just you know, amplifying all of that energy, and, and especially here, like, you know, May's house in the verge of being collected, Peter's feeling all kinds of bad, he lost May, Doc Ock screwed him over big time, um, meanwhile, Harry's feeling amazing, being out of the tube and being able to live his life, and the symbiote started acting more evil with Harry, because Harry felt the same bad feelings that Peter felt, just much worse. Now, it's debatable, you know, Harry, uh, that whole scene where Peter's, like, hugging Norman, that was just, that was just bad timing, you know? But it's totally understandable because Harry wanted the suit back, Peter was affected by it because of his bad feelings and that kind of, like if, the, if they were just able to communicate, but that's the thing about life, sometimes it doesn't work out like that. So Harry went full Venom, but it, like, hell, like, Peter could have also corrupted that symbiote a bit further, but it gets muddy because the whole heal the world thing, like the symbiote might have some undertones here of corruption as well when it comes to it because the symbiote went straight to like trying to do like just have a hive mind with all the symbiotes and take over the entire world right uh to heal it which is just crazy that's a whole different video there but yeah so harry felt the same bad things that peter felt just worse he thought he was going to die that his father and best friend betrayed him and that's why it's able to transform into venom and convince him to spread around the world and that's why their symbiosis was perfect because, yeah, they were just both feeling, feeling hurt because you also got to remember Peter rejected the symbiote at the same time, right? It was corrupting it or it was corrupting him. I mean, it's a symbiosis, right? So it's probably like a two-way street there. And then boom, that's kind of how it went. So it's not like Harry wasn't affected. Harry was affected as well by the symbiote, just not in the negative way. He was kind of the opposite, right? Because Harry was feeling good. He was happy. He was out of his dark place. He was ready to take on the world. Meanwhile, Peter, he's in the dumps. He's feeling all crap. And there we go. That's kind of how it worked out. Then we have, why didn't Peter use his spider arms to lift up the roller coaster? And this is a huge one. And I'm going I'm to I'm admit it. And I think a lot of you guys probably feel the same way. But I, when we were, like, playing this for the first time, and we were in the heat at the moment, I don't think anyone really cared about or thought about, oh, why is he not using the, the um, you know, the spider arms? Because the emotion was there, the stakes were there, like, the pacing was insane, the mission was awesome, and you were at the edge of your seat, like, for sure. But 
it does make sense to say, hey, we're really spider arms. But then again, at the same time, maybe he forgot because he just started using this technology at the start of the game. He said the new suit update was, I guess, experimental. So maybe he wasn't expecting it to work. I don't really know. Like <laughs> this person here says, I don't know, dude. Uh, plot, its existence is barely acknowledged, yet the thing has a lot of capabilities, including the fact that it can use it to draw miles as energy. But somebody did say something. Every time that we do use these iron arms, he doesn't use them all the time. They just come out for a quick burst and then they're gone. So maybe they're not meant to be used for a long time. So here it wouldn't make sense for him to use them because maybe they're not able to be used like that. Because when you use them in combat, he just, he's very agile with it. He takes them out gets the job done and they're gone right so maybe it works by the same logic i don't know per se but that's my best guess as to this otherwise this is a hell of a plot hole but i just think the stakes were too high and he wasn't really thinking he was just thinking about what's going to happen but then again then our boy harry just comes in and that's the plot right like that that needed to happen but yeah he could have totally just used the webs from uh the the spider arms to kind of like maybe web some people to safety or at least hold on to them i guess i don't know man um this is a huge one i do want to talk about this because it was so annoying during the game when you're swinging around you know going through the story and then the danica like the danny cast pops up and she's like oh no peter in that black suit it's making him evil what has happened to our hero spider-man and i totally get that like she's really narrating the whole thing like you know, a lot of people, like this post says, didn't really realize that Pete, like he was just starting to act off. And then everyone's like, oh, the, you know, it's like, I don't get that part. So I think she was just meant to be like an actual, like narrator in the game that tells us what's going on, I guess. Um, so I don't, I don't really have an answer for this. If you do in the comments below, do let me know. Um, obviously, she, like the Danny cast was great in Miles Morales. I really enjoyed it there um because there was actual like valid points and critiques you know it would have been interesting if he actually took her podcast here and let it clash with jonah's while jonah is going off the narrative where it now makes sense that oh hey you know spider-man might actually be evil maybe you know danica here could have been like oh hey maybe we need this type of spider-man i guess the job that you know kind of have like a tug of war with jonah at, at least to some sort of degree it would be kind of fun to see but you know i don't I don't really know. And then this is the this is the meme post that started everything, I swear, on this subreddit. It's like, still can't wrap my head around why Peter was so offended that Duck Ock knew his identity. I, I, I don't know if this was a satire post or not, but I do have to include this one, even though it's not related to Marvel Spider-Man 2. It's literally like, the whole reason he was so offended is because Doc Ock put him through everything while knowing Peter was still under the mask. So he didn't really care about him while Peter was trying to save him, even while he was under the mask. He was doing everything that he could. He was trying to help him. And, you know, like literally before this fight, our boy is being operated on. Like he, he, he was barely gonna survive. So he was pretty much left for dead, right? And then his aunt is suffering because of Doc Ock's, you know, just skewed intentions, right? Like it's, it sucks, man. It was a terrible downfall. Like, the first story, I still think... If I really have to put these two, like, games side by side and say which one I enjoyed more, just purely story-wise like story -wise and emotional heights-wise, I think the first game is much more... Like, it, it, it just works better through the narrative beats. It just hits all the right tones. It's very emotional, and that, like, that story bit at the end, the whole build-up, it was just perfect, so... Yeah, this is just, like, why was Peter like this? Now you know why he was being knocked out, <laughs> why he was nerfed by the fridge. He wasn't nerfed, right? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, drop a like and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day. Peace.